Hi there, welcome to Tiger Carpenter. Uh, today uh, we want to answer the question whether the Walt miter saw is capable of cutting thick aluminum solid stock. So what I have here is a 2 inches by 2 inches 51 millimeter by 51 millimeter square aluminum bar and I need to cut it as a cube so I will have 2 by 2 by 2 inches when you get the new saw the first thing you want to do is that the yellow insert is flush with the table that's why I loosened up all the bolts and to make it flush we have to, to tighten the middle screws first so let's do that now i will tighten the middle left bolt okay let's try to fix the problem so i loosened the two bolts here and now as I travel the flat bar over these two surfaces it's, they seem to be perfectly aligned so we would like to tighten uh, this situation I can feel now there is no step I can slide onto the yellow insert with no obstacle and just to let you know the adjustment that I have just made on the yellow insert requires T20 star uh, tip for your screwdriver uh, straight from the factory by default uh, the DeWalt miter saw comes with the construction grade fine finish saw which is 60 teeth 60 carbide teeth and this blade uh, is quite thin I think it's only 2 millimeters or 1.5 millimeter curve so it's a very nice blade and I am sure this blade will perform very well even to cut the aluminum stock however uh, I'm going to use uh, specialized blade for the aluminum which has 120 carbide teeth hopefully it will give me even better uh, finish surface and more precise cut so here it is and when you replace the blade always remember the teeth should be pointing down because the blade rotates this way and it's pulling the material towards the fence so this blade is 120 teeth, 305 millimeters or 12 inch and the model is DWA 03250-B1 so now I'm going to show you how to replace the blade in the DeWalt miter saw which is actually not intuitive the, the only tool that you will need to replace the blade in the, in the DeWalt miter saw is located here at the back there is a hole and the holder so when you finish replacing your blade don't forget to put it back here so you will never have to lose it and look for it so let's go for it so the first thing you have to do when you replace the blade is to make sure that your machine is unplugged and please don't take it lightly because safety is a very very important issue we lift the blade guard and here there is a bolt the narrower end on the longer shaft fits that bolt so we don't want to open it all the way we just want to loosen it and here is the complementary bolt 
that we also have to loosen. So we will continue with this one until the cover is held by this by the head of this bolt. So that's happening right now. You can see that the cover is being held and the aluminum plate retracted upwards and it gave us access to the blade. So now we can finally remove the blade. Let me show you on the right side. There is a black bolt that locks the blade. So you have to press this and then I untighten the left. Okay, so once more, I'm pressing the button on the right, the narrow black button, and then I will lock the blade, prevent it from turning. And then to loosen the, the bolt, we are pressing down. As you can see, I already loosened the bolt. So now I'm using my left hand and I rotate the bolt towards me and it drops into my palm as well as the arbor holder. Now we can remove the blade. Okay, so I found the, the right in a ring to match the size of my arbor and I'm going to push it inside okay now that the inner ring is in I'm going to place the blade inside okay it's in so now we can put back the arbor lock. Remember the direction of the teeth is pointing down because the direction of the cut is pushing the stock towards the fence. To tighten it we have to turn it away from us using your left hand. And then to tighten it we will lift it up while pushing the black button to lock the blade. You can hear the click. That should do. So now we can tighten back these bolts, pull the cover. Pull the aluminum plate down until it's under the bolt. This one tightens the regular way. Okay, done. And then tighten the other one. The complementary bolt. It was probably not even necessary to loosen it because it's just a pivot. Okay. So everything looks good. All right. So the blade replacement is done. Now let's adjust the saw. Every time you want to transport the saw or store it in the box or simply lock it down, there is a leverage here that you can pull and push and it locks the saw in the position for transport. So now the next adjustment that we want to make, once we replace the blade, we want to make sure that the blade is perfectly 90 degrees to the table. Uh, it looks almost perfect, but I want to show you what you will have to do if it was not perfect. So here at the back, you can see a blue thread lock. And as you rotate it, you are changing the angle 
of the blade so I purposely now turned it too far so that you can see it so the first thing before we adjust the bevel to a perfect 90 degrees we have to loosen up and this knob so that the saw can move freely and then we move it all the way to the vertical position so let's correct it I think we are getting very close yep I think we are on the money now I think that's perfect I'm going to lock it in this position using the same knob at the back so we will verify that by pushing the square to the fence and to the blade again in my case it seems to be perfectly 90 degrees but if it wasn't uh, I will show you and readjust it. Okay, so in order to adjust the fence square to the table, uh, there is a stainless steel miter plate, which has one, two, three, four, four bolts. I'm going to loosen them up. So now you can see the stainless steel miter plate is moving and there are dents that allow clicking into position. So let's go to the zero degrees. Okay, <coughs> so we clicked on the dent with zero degrees here so now as we rotate the table it is adjusting the angle between the fence and the blade okay so as you can see here as we rotate the table uh, the angle between the fence changes and we can see the gap so what we want is to register the square both on the, the fence and on the blade okay that's done so now I will tighten back the bolts so we are perfectly square both to the fence and to the blade so this concludes our adjustments I want to show you one more time what is the view and I'm adjusting the 90 degrees between the table and the blade. Let me try just a little bit more. Okay, so now I will push the, the whole thing and lock. Okay, so now that all the adjustments are made, don't forget to put your tool back so you will never have to look for it again okay and in order to allow the sliding action because now the rails are locked there is a knob here which you can loosen up and then the gliding action or sliding action will be enabled the key point of this video was answering the question whether the miter saw is capable of cutting through the solid piece of aluminum in this case it's a 2.2 by 2 inches so let's clamp the material okay it's time for for the test remember about your safety i'm going to lubricate the piece as well as the blade let me double check everything okay let's go
and we are all the way through okay and let's test it let's measure the heat is it hot 41 celsius let's have a look at the size this is the factory edge this is our edge so in inches 2005.5 we can accept that now let's check our edge for square this is factory edge this is our edge so let me see wow this is really this is really square perfect I cannot be more happy than that and some people say that miter saw is meant for the construction work because it's not accurate enough and here you can see it's a grade 00 inox uh, Dean Dean 875 for 90 degrees it's perfectly square Wow, <laughs> honestly, it's a big, big success and uh, I'm very happy with the saw and with the settings and with the saw setup. So the experiment was very successful. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to Tiger Carpenter channel if you haven't already and like this video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.